Hello, my name is Eugen from Procuria and in this short video I will show you how easy it is to access Procuria as a supplier and how to respond to an RFQ. If this is your first time using Procuria, let me tell you a few details about the platform. Procuria is a cloud-based platform that helps procurement teams to deliver cost savings, manage their suppliers and align with stakeholders. When a buyer decides to publish an RFQ using Procuria, all the invited suppliers will receive an invitation email that looks like this. Here we have a short introduction text, the name of the uh, RFQ, and then the description of the of the request. Once the supplier clicks on the on the name of the RFQ, he or she will be redirected to a secure response page, where uh, after accepting the uh, terms and conditions, he will be redirected to the RFQ response page. An excellent feature of Procuria is that the suppliers do not need to create an account in order to participate in events. When the response page opens, you have two options. The first one is to participate. If clicked, the buyer will be informed by email that the supplier has decided to participate in the event. The second one is to decline. If clicked, the buyer will also be informed by email about this action. However, even if you decline, you can make up your mind at a later date and you can still choose to participate, as long as the event hasn't ended. Let's choose to participate. Now, you can easily see the entire picture of the RFQ. Everything is organized and easy to read. You have the name of the RFQ the description of the RFQ, the start date, the end date, the documents that the buyer has uploaded, which we as suppliers can download and, uh, and review. And moving on to the item section, the supplier can manually uh, input his bids under the, under the response page. Or if it's an RFQ with lots of items, you can click on add from file, download existing records. You will shortly complete this, uh, this Excel file in a second. Here the supplier inputs the bits, save the file, and after that the supplier simply has to upload this file. We add the items and after that the, the responses will be filled in in the response column. After that uh, you will need to answer the questionnaire. You'll notice that some of the questions have been marked as mandatory by the by the buyer. Let's quickly fill in these questions, and after that, the supplier needs to submit his uh, submit his response. You now also have the option of retracting your response. We click on retract response, and if we if we wish to to sub to resubmit a bit, we will click on reactivate response make the necessary changes and then resubmit our, our response. Another excellent feature of Procuria is the message center when you can start a discussion thread with the buyer if you have any issues or need uh, more, uh, more info. You click on message center, add, here we will put something about, uh, let's ask about the delivery date, we want some clarification on, on this. Then we put a, a small text here. And as soon as you send the message, the buyer will be notified via email of this message. And when he responds, you will be notified via email as well. And you will be able to see the buyer's response in the message center. As the buyer responds, we as suppliers will be able to see his response in, in the thread. Here we can see the response of the, of the buyer. And we can continue this, this thread getting uh, the information that we, that we require as suppliers. If the buyer decides to extend the end time event, you will, not, you will be notified of this via, uh, via email, which I will show you just in, uh, in a second. This is the uh, email I will show you just in a second for when you are notified of the end time being, uh, being changed. Also, as a quick note, the buyer can also pause and resume an event. If he wants to add more items, new questions or edit the existing ones, please keep in mind that suppliers cannot submit any bids while the event is paused and also, more importantly, suppliers need to resubmit their bids after the event is resumed, taking into consideration the new information added by the buyer. This being said, please do not forget to resubmit your bid after an event is resumed. This has been a short overview of how you can respond to an RFQ by using Procuria. Thank you very much for your time and please feel free to get in touch via the contact form on Procuria.com. Have a good day. Bye.